So I realize I've shared a lot of London tips on this channel, but I haven't talked very much about sweet things to try while you're here. So why don't we go on a tour around central London and I'll show you some really good sweet treats to try while you're here. Okay, we're in the Covent Garden area on a little street called Rose Street, which most people would not find because it's a bit away from the main parts of Covent Garden. But I was passing by this street one day a few years ago and I could smell this amazing smell. And I follow the smell to this little Swedish cafe called Bagerier. And it's very small, but they make Swedish bread and Swedish sweet treats. They also have coffee and tea that you can get. So I'm gonna pop in and get a cinnamon bun, which is like my favorite thing to get from here. Okay, they, they didn't have any cinnabuns made yet. So instead I went for a Danish pastry called Spandau. And it's got pastry, with cream and, and jelly colored raspberries on top. So I guess this will have to do. <laughs> mm, my favorite thing to do, eat on camera. That was very good though. Oh, I'm already full, Marco. I don't know. <laughs> we have like 10 places where I'm gonna be eating things. But luckily I did bring <laughs> some Tupperwares to put <laughs> all of the, <laughs> the sweet treats into so nothing gets wasted. But honestly, I'm already full and we have so much more to do. So St. John is a restaurant in Smithfield and it is absolutely a London institution. They're known for doing nose to tail cuisine. And what's interesting is that they also have a really famous bakery. So we're here at the Neil's Yard location of the bakery and I'm gonna go get one of their very famous donuts. So St. John donuts are really light and fluffy. I think they must be baked. They're coated in sugar, and then they always have some kind of filling on the inside. So you can pick whatever flavor that you want that's available at the shop that you end up going to. I got lemon today. Probably my favorite is the cookies and cream custard. Like I said, we're at the Seven Dials location, but the donuts are also at the restaurant. And if you're over in Bermondsey, by the Bermondsey Beer Mile, they actually have a like factory bakery there and sometimes they'll open up the door to that and you can see inside the bakery and they also set up a little stand where you can get literally just the donuts. So if you're in the area, you should go see if the door is open and you can pick one up while you're there. Okay, should I eat this? Delicious. Mmm. Check out that filling. Okay, so there are a lot of good places to get ice cream in London, but I personally love to go super local. So just in Seven Dials here, there's an ice cream stand slash shop. It's called Hackney Gelato, and that is the name of an ice cream producer here in London. And they make their ice cream handmade right in Hackney, which is in East London. And the brand was started by two guys that met while working at a Michelin star restaurant together. And they thought, you know what? London doesn't have any really, really good gelato. So they went to Italy and they went around the country learning how to make the best gelato possible. And then they came back to London and set up the company. So I'm gonna pop in and grab a flavor and come back out and show you what I got. Okay, I opted for the raspberry sorbet. I try the dark chocolate one as well, which is their best selling when people buy it from the tub. But I wanted this because it's a little bit lighter. And I have a lot of sweets and chocolatey things to eat today. It's really nice and light and all of their sorbets are vegan. So if you can't have dairy, then you can go for a sorbet. Totally fine, but it is really, really, really nice, delicious stuff. Mmm. Okay, this place that we're at now is very niche and it's called Cafe Donata. This is where besides coffee, you can only get pastel donata, which is the very famous Portuguese sweet treat. So if you've been wanting to try it, 
This is the place to do it because they make so many every single day fresh, so they've really gotten it down to an art. Also, we're in Soho. This is their main location. There's one also in Hammersmith and South Kensington, but this Soho location is open until midnight on the weekends, so you can get yourself a little drunk snack after the bar before you head back to your hotel. Right, so I've gone for three different kinds. One is the classic, one is the blueberry, and one is apple and cinnamon. But I'm gonna go for the classic for the moment. Hm. So yummy. This is Cutter and Squidge behind me, and they are a bakery that has a signature item that's called a biscuit, and it is a sandwich type of dessert. It's a cross between a cookie and a biscuit, and then it's filled with some kind of cream filling or like other jam or desserty type of treat. And their salted caramel one is award-winning, but I'm gonna go in and see what they have available and bring something out. Okay, I couldn't choose just one, so I went for the s'mores one, which actually has a vegetarian marshmallow and also the chocolate brownie. So let's dig into this guy and see how it goes. Hmm. Mm. As an American, I can't turn down a s'more. Okay, we're gonna go down this little alleyway in Soho and go to a place called Crumbs and Doilies. And this shop is the place to go if you just want really good homemade cakes and muffins and cupcakes and brownies, all that kind of classic stuff, but in like really interesting and delicious flavors. Everything is fresh made here. And this shop is actually the brainchild of a fellow YouTuber, Cupcake Gemma, and it's turned into this whole brand. Actually quite inspirational to me as I would like to one day have my own tourist shop somewhere in London. But anyway, so I'm gonna go in and get a couple of things and they share their daily menu on their Instagram if you wanna check out before you come to visit what they have available because remember everything is fresh baked every day. We haven't done any cupcakes on this tour so far, so I went for two cupcakes. One is the Homer cupcake, which you can guess why it's called that. Very cute. And this one is Biscoff, which is vegan. So that's why I ended up going for this one, because I wanted to try this. I don't know which one to eat. I'm gonna only eat this one. I'm gonna take this one home, because it's too pretty to eat at this moment. Oh my God. You know what's a good bakery when they can still do vegan and gluten-free stuff really well? And this is really good even though it's vegan. If you've ever wanted to eat raw cookie dough without getting sick, then come to Naked Dough in Camden Lock Market. So this shop was started by two friends who worked in the food industry, and they saw that there was a big craze over in America of people loving to have cookie dough. And so they brought the craze over here and they opened up their very own shop selling very safe to eat and also very yummy cookie dough with lots of different funky names and flavors, some of them being vegan and some of them being names like emoji poo and really funky stuff like that. So let's go try a little bit. Okay, so I tried the vegan cookie dough and that was I'm pretty good, but I ended up going just for the chocolate chip, which is like the classic, like what you would make at home and you wanna try. So this is what it looks like. And it tastes like when you're making cookies at home and you really wanna have the cookie dough, but you know you can't because it's dangerous. Mm. Okay, we're still in Camden. This is Mama Son's Dirty Ice Cream, and this is a Filipino ice cream parlor. And the thing to get here is the bilog. It is a Filipino dessert. It's essentially taking a Filipino milk bun, and then they put ice cream inside of it, and then they toast it so it makes a hot ice cream sandwich. And the ice cream that you wanna get, because it's the traditional Filipino one, is called ube, and it's made with purple Filipino yam, I'm pretty sure that it is. 
and it's really nice. So I'm gonna go get one and I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, I actually think this is my favorite thing that we've covered today. I freaking love this. So this is the milk bun, it's called Pandasol. Um, the ube is the purple stuff in the middle. And then there's some powdered sugar on top and it's warm. So it's like a toasted bun with ice cream. So nice. Mm. So good. <laughs> Down my nose, isn't it? All over the place. <sighs> okay, I'm stuffed. I have a backpack full of sweet treats to take home tonight. And I hope that you found some cool places to check out for sweet treats in London. And if you want more sweet treats like ice cream, then click the box that's popping up below me where you see me taste testing a bunch of really cool and quirky ice creams all around London. Covent Garden, but it gets, sorry, I'm just, before I 